कि राहुल गांधी जिस महिला के साथ वीडियो में बात करते दिखाई देते हैं वो कोई और नहीं नेपाल में चीन की राजदूत हैं टेंशन सिमर इन राजस्थान वीडियो हैज नाउ इमर्ज राहुल गांधी पार्टी इन रिपोर्ट ग्रीन काठमांडू एज द पार्टी कोलैप्स राहुल गांधी इज फॉरन नाइट क्लब वीडियोज गॉन वायरल Mega political eruption over Rahul Gandhi's nightclub videos caught on camera partying abroad. This is Indian news television, right? I can't show you because of copyright issues. Copyright strikes might take place, but I'm going to show you a very quick montage of what Indian news channels have been covering, and I'm sure you have also watched it as well. Well, as tension simmer in Rajasthan, a video has now emerged of Rahul Gandhi partying. Mega political eruption over Rahul Gandhi's nightclub videos. कॉर्ड ऑन कैमरा पार्टिंग जिस महिला के साथ वीडियो में बात करते दिखाई देते हैं वो कोई और नहीं नेपाल में चीन की राजदूत हैं This is what India's national media thinks is news the private life of a politician it would make British tabloid press extremely proud Of course television channels have taken this up only after it has already spread to that prestigious WhatsApp university Kitni padhai bhi kaam kar liye hain तो इसमें व्हाट्सएप यूनिवर्सिटी से पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन कर रहे हैं एंड आफ्टर दैट देर बीन सम डीवियस ट्विस्ट व्हिच हैव नाउ मूव्ड ऑन टू सोशल मीडिया एंड एट द सेम टाइम इट कम्स ऑन नेशनल मीडिया एज प्राइम टाइम डिबेट टेक दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लेस राहुल गांधी इज सपोजली वॉज अलेज टू बी at a night club in Kathmandu with the Chinese ambassador to Nepal now what should a news channel do what should journalists do it is extremely easy to find out whether that really is the chinese ambassador it is extremely easy to find out whether rahul gandhi was at a night club in kathmandu or not and what he was doing and who that person is and this vicious cycle of misinformation disinformation fake news actually works very cleverly because it starts with something that has really happened in this case rahul gandhi in a night club in kathmandu with a friend of a friend but then the context is removed it is twisted and a question is asked is rahul gandhi with the chinese ambassador this is pushed out on social media and also on private whatsapp groups where people comment on it did uh, talk about it it is further spread it comes back on national media as a question cleverly as a question was he there this is the allegation no need to find out and then when once the national media has raised those questions what happens it comes right back as 100% verified on whatsapp he will send you uh, all news articles but these news articles will all start with the message 100% verified news <laughs> solid right now rahul gandhi is only one of the targets and probably one of the biggest targets in india right now of disinformation and trolling but there are others on the other side of the divide on the right as well who also face this kind of trolling and targeting and public figures often journalists and actors and and people who have spoken up against the government or against power in general or against a particular political party they are targeted trolled harangued on in the internet and lies are spread about them now i'm not saying that this messaging is only about fake news and disinformation i'm not saying that this digital highway which is now the most important medium through which messages move to people is only about lies it is also a positive space where Uh, political parties push and promote their policies their ideology and also they also turn their leaders into giants and that is where the congress party is particularly bad and if there is one area where our opponents outdo us it is in communication they have much more money than us and they are better at communication than we are the problem is that the congress party doesn't take this digital highway seriously it doesn't take television seriously and that starts straight from the top from rahul gandhi himself i'm i'm not going to show it but you can go onto the internet and go to youtube and look up the video of rahul gandhi at the night club it's a hazy video but from what it looks like rahul gandhi is 
clean shaven he's dressed up for the occasion as anyone should at a wedding but when he turns up at the congress party's udaipur chintan shivir to speak to the congress workers and congress leaders he has a stubble he looks like he is he hasn't slept he looks unkempt he looks distant he has no animation no passion this is someone who clearly does not believe that he needs to perform for the camera this is in stark contrast to Prime Minister Modi, whether you like him or not, whether you oppose him or support him, you have to give it that Narendra Modi takes television presence extremely seriously. And this is extremely important in a country like India because India has a very wide number of people who are watching videos all day because uh, data is cheap and people have prioritized buying data as part of their life's expenses. And a lot of these videos are actually uh, things which contain information, often false information, and most of it goes through WhatsApp and then is taken to be gospel truth. It is time for the Congress party to understand, just as the BJP understood almost a decade ago, the visual medium, especially video, is a very strange medium because it effaces itself, it disappears. It makes you believe that you are there. It makes you say that I saw it with my own eyes, it has to be true. You do not realize that what you saw was actually an edited package. You saw what a camera lens caught. You don't know what was happening to the left of the right or top or bottom of that frame. But because you see it, you believe it. The BJP understands this extremely well. It understands that in a country like India, when people, even when they're literate, can read and write their name and write a few sentences, they take time to read. So video visual images are the greatest and easiest way to pass on a message the right in india in fact the global right has very skilled practitioners of the visual arts the modern digital visual arts whether it is photoshopping whether it is memes whether it is quick smart videos and what they do is that they release it into the bloodstream of public discourse and it flows through that it reaches every part of the social body and through the repetition of themes it manages to create certain truths produce certain truths which everyone starts believing and repeating when prashant kishore gave certain suggestions to the congress party it included creating whatsapp groups in every single village it included promoting YouTube channels, promoting local channels, creating thousands of memes. This is not rocket science and it is not something that only the Congress party needs to do. Every party needs to do that in contemporary politics and the BJP does it and it does it extremely well. This importance of visual medium, importance of social media, importance of television has come to India about 10 years ago. The BJP was ahead in the game and it managed to make the most of it. The Congress party simply doesn't understand that these are essential elements of messaging. Message is not just a few words. Message is not a speech. It is an entire format. The Congress needs to understand that it can't just emulate or imitate the BJP and hope to succeed. It can't just replicate that model because those in the center, those who are liberal, secular, they will want a different language. And it is the Congress party's job to look for it. It has wasted eight years trying to find that language or maybe never tried to find that language. It has woken up now, but it is Rahul Gandhi who needs to start right from the top. That's the show today. Keep watching News Click, like us, share our videos and do subscribe to the channel.